Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the end of January. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because we focus on love. Um, we're just going to see whatever comes up. It's for the end of January. I've already done two and I'll tag one of them to the end. I have a playlist if you want to watch either of them. Gemini, what do we have for Gemini? What do we got for Gemini? We're going to get one of these, one of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. What does Gemini need to know for the end of January? Gemini. What's going on? What's going to happen? Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So it looks like something is going to be balanced out. Probably by your own doings, right? Usually that's the case. Gemini. Gemini. I'm just going to pick one because I don't know why. Feels like I need to just pick one. Oh, gentleness. Gentleness. It's about being gentle with yourself. I think Virgo got this too. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is like treating yourself with, with kindness. It really is. And being gentle with yourself. Being gentle with others. At ease, at peace. Hmm. You could be dealing with somebody, if you're a male especially. If you're a male, you could be dealing with a person who is very gentle and kind. If you are the female watching this, this is probably the energy that you are taking on. Gemini, or you're gonna, or you need to, you know, that could be an advice card. You need to be gentle to bring balance to your life. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with the others. Being gentle will combat any disharmony. It absolutely will. Gemini. You know, I see, I feel peace. I feel peace, like at peace, you know, at ease, feeling balanced within yourself. At a place of harmony, you know, inner harmony. What does Gemini need to know? The emperor, the emperor, in control, taking control, or this could be somebody you're dealing with. Somebody, this is a very dominant personality. <clears throat> There's a feeling of emptiness here, though. Like, incomplete. You, maybe you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something to <clears throat> complete in your life. Could be a cycle. You're waiting for something to end. Something that has been inhibiting you from success. Interesting. Like it's been out of your control. Something has been out of your control. You've been trying to take control. Waiting. Getting prepared for this completion. But not. it hasn't happened yet. So you guys may be getting, could be getting prepared for something to end. 
really trying to keep it under control, perhaps. Ooh. Wow. The devil. So there's something that is that you're tied to that is unhealthy. Could be a habit, could be a person, could be anything. Whatever this is, it's unhealthy. And it needs to end, but, you know, it's, it's not allowing you, it's controlling you. Okay, it's controlling you. Something is controlling, it's, it is, it is. Whatever it is, it's unhealthy, it's toxic, it, it's, it's all a lie, whatever it is. Now, you guys get this card a lot. This is the card of temptation. Tempted by things that really aren't good for you. Perhaps thinking that you can control anything, that you are in so much control that... You know, you can overcome the overcome any kind of obsession. You can overcome any kind of situation. But, you know, whatever it is that you're holding, that you're tied to, that you're stuck to, that really is unhealthy, it's, it's inhibiting your success, okay? It's, it's not allowing you to have the, the success that you are really, really, really desiring. There's definitely manipulation here. Manipulation here. Manipulation. These are both cards of manipulation. It's, like on, it's on both ends. It's like there's a, a power struggle here. Mm, there is absolutely a power struggle here. There is absolutely no doubt about it. It's like somebody's got to win. They don't care who they hurt. There's a couple people that are getting hurt in the process. Somebody's got a lot of a lot of pride and a really really big ego, no doubt. Something is not as it seems. Something is not, okay? Somebody may be thinking that something is just fine when it's really not just fine. Somebody is acting out of Pride and ego, there's no doubt about it. Somebody is not seeing something clearly. And maybe it's just because I don't want to be alone. There's codependency here. Somebody may be going through some sort of midlife crisis really and in denial about it, trying to pretend that everything is just fine. But in all reality, there's a better there's a better option. Okay, there's there's just too much uh, unhappiness where you're at, sadness. Somebody's not seeing that there's a better option. It's like hanging on to something that is already it's already crashed. It's already it's already a loss. It is. But somebody has regrets and they don't want to they don't want to let it go. They don't want to stop focusing on something that is already it's already gone. It's like that song I'm already gone. It's already gone. But still bound to it. Unable to break that chain. Perhaps there was a, a huge magnetic attraction to it. Whatever it is, the attraction was so big that somebody can just, just is refusing to see that there's a better option. Yeah, needing to find the strength to restrain yourself. From trying to control a situation or from being controlled. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to fight for yourself. You need to stand your ground. You're on top. You're still on top. And you need to stay on top. Don't let people bring you down. Ooh. 
Ooh, this is big, really big, okay? So we have a wake-up call here. I think that you guys are going to see the truth about a situation. You are. You're going to see the truth. Something is going to be revealed that makes you find your strength to walk away from something that is unhealthy. Whatever this is. Um, it's like something is going to be revealed. There's no doubt about it. Something is, something is going to be accepted and released. It's a karmic situation, it is. There, there could be some sort of fight or something, some sort of something. I mean, this is like some sort of fight, some sort of drama-filled situation. That And it, it really, serious, seriously, could be a fight. There could be a fight where somebody, they don't, their pride is so big, there's a lot of pride here, that they don't, they don't care who they hurt. They don't care. All they care about is winning this battle, winning, you know, being the victor in their own mind, in their own mind. And you're going to need to find the strength and the grace and the tact to restrain yourself from engaging in this unhealthy situation, whatever it is. Now, the strength card is also usually the strength to let go of something that is very <sighs> conflicting, okay? This is a power struggle. This is like, the fucking word was just right there and now it's gone. It comes and goes so quick. Belittling. It's like you're dealing with a person who doesn't care who they hurt. They don't. This person may be with you just because they don't want to be alone. They want somebody to have sex with or they want somebody to just be with. You know, it's that codependent nature. And you're, I think that you're going to get some sort of wake-up call that says, you know what, this is exactly what this is. And you may, you may decide to defend yourself and say, you know what, this hurts. This really hurts. But I can't be chained to something that is unreal. I can't be chained to something that is unhealthy. I can't. So I feel like this month you're going to receive some sort of epiphany, truth, or revelation that this is releasing something. It really is. That gives you the strength to release something that is unhealthy because this is healthy. Okay, and this is unhealthy. So I think that something unhealthy that has held you back from success could be an addiction, could be an obsession, could be a partnership that was just based on sex, whatever is going to be released. Because you're going to, you're, it's like you're probably going to realize, you know, I do have another option, but as long as I am tied to you or to this situation, then I, you know, I can't move forward. I feel like. You probably know this has been coming, and you've probably been getting prepared for this to end. You probably knew this this needed to end, and you needed to release something, and you've been getting prepared to do it, and it feels like there's going to be a severing of ties. Some ties are going to be severed. Okay? There is. Who, you know, somebody has fear of growing old alone, and that's why they're in this situation. It's like, I just don't want to be alone. Well, you're not, you know, that's... That's an unnecessary worry because you have the ability to take a new approach, to relight that fire within you, to go down a passionate new path, it looks like you now the queen of wands she's 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 a of a high 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 vibration right her vibration is very high very attractive very determined 
So I think that if you are the female Gemini, that your determination to succeed is going to overpower this unhealthy situation. I do. I feel it. And if you are the Gemini man, this could be the woman that is in your life. This is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Leo here as well. This is a card of strength. This is a card of courage. It's a card of confidence. It's a card of willpower. So it looks like somebody is going to find those those qualities, you know, the willpower, the strength, the courage, and the confidence to bring stability to their lives. I want stability. I want security. Now this could be, this is a completion. This could be a completion of a relationship. You could be dealing with somebody who's very, very dominant. I mean, we do have dominance here. Somebody who's very, really dominant and you can't win no matter what you do. And it looks like the passion is dying for that situation. It's gone south. And perhaps somebody is just like, you know, I know what I got to do. It's time for a change. You got to think about the Queen of Wands. She embodies Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So that would be strength, you know, the emperor and uh, temperance. So it's time for a change. It's time for me to dominate. It's time for me to take the lead. It's time for me to use the, my willpower to complete this. situation okay it was a relationship this is a completion okay it's an end of something it really is because there's no more passion there there's no more growth and I think that you guys are going to be you know you've evolved you're probably not the same person that you used to be and now you just want to be happy it's like no I just want happiness and you may want to engage your friends maybe you want to go out and have some fun maybe you realize that you you need to have friends or you need to let your friends help you or you realize that maybe you realize you're in a third party situation maybe you realize that there's too many uh, fingers in the pie whatever this is I feel like you're seeing something you're seeing something clearly it's like you know you know that Maybe you're dealing with a person who is with an with another person, you know what I mean, and you know that they're sexually engaged, and you're just like, you know, I don't want to be in a a third party situation. I don't I don't want to be in a third party situation, so I'm going to get out of this relationship. I deserve better than that. I feel I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who is very very manipulative, somebody that has a huge ego. There's no doubt about it. You're dealing with somebody whose ego is like the size of Mount Rushmore. That's no joke. And you can't win, and it looks like the passion is dying because this person is so egotistical, right? I mean, that's what I see. And it feels like you want love. I want love and I deserve love. And it's like the universe is offering you love. It's like you you know that there is love. You know that there is real love. So with these two next to each other, I think that you guys may be deciding to give up on something that is not... There's no more growth. There's no more passion. There's no more f fire. And heading towards a more emotionally fulfilling situation. You're letting something go for no joke. <coughs> something that was depressive. Something that had caused you a lot of anxiety. Something that, you know, has caused a lot of regrets in your life. Whether it's addictions or it's an actual person. Something is being let go of. And it's because, for one thing, there's a lot of self-love here. And I think that you're doing this to bring balance back to your back to your life. I think that you're doing this because you know that the only way to find true love is to love yourself and be gentle with yourself and not let yourself be manipulated and controlled by another person who is just with you for because he doesn't who or he or she doesn't want to be alone. That's what this is. This person is only with you for sexual reasons, and I'm sorry to tell you that. 
whoever it was, perhaps that you were that you were hung up, hung up with, whatever it is. And I think that you guys have decided that you are going to be gentle. You're going to bring balance and you're going to wait for love. You're always going to see what's mirroring each other. You're going to wait for true love. Okay? I have to release this toxic situation and accept this pain because I know there's a better option. And I feel like that's what this is. I think you guys are realizing that there's a better option. The only way to, to get that better option is to... Wake up and see this for what it is. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think that you're going to receive some sort of epiphany or truth or even some sort of communication or something that says, you know what, this is not healthy. This is not healthy. It's all a lie. It is all. Whatever it is, it's all a lie. You're dealing with a person that is probably involved with another person. And you, you know, you want that stable relationship. You want that security. You, you know, you don't, you don't want to be in a relationship where you feel alone because this person is with another person, right? So I, I really feel like you guys are going to take the lead. You're going to take control. I feel like you guys are going to, you know, put yourself on top again. It's like, you know what? I have to defend myself. I have to protect myself. And I'm going to, I have to let go of this sad story this sad situation because I will wait for true love and I think that's what this is I, I really feel like you guys are probably turning down uh, somebody's offer for you know well it could be sex even it could be sex or it could be uh, you know that's what it looks like to me you know because you don't want to be in a third party situation it's like you know what if you're just looking for that then you know, that's what it looks like to me. I think you're going to make a judgment call in regards to a sexual partnership. I mean, I can't make that. I can't make that up, okay? You're going to make a judgment call in regards to a person that, you know, is just looking for one thing. I mean, one thing only. And I feel like you're going to see it clearly. You're going to receive some sort of uh, <sighs> revelation or epiphany that says, you know what, this is... This is all it is. It's all it is. This person, whoever you're dealing with, has multiple people in the mix. And I think that you're just going to be like, I'm sorry, but uh, no. Yeah, it's like this isn't, this isn't it. It's not it. You realize that. And I think that you guys are going to probably suddenly even, it could happen suddenly out of the blue. You're just like, you know what? We're not compatible. This contract is over. I'm not going to deal with this. This We're not compatible. We're not compatible. This is not the union of a lifetime. This is not what I'm looking for. I have a better option and I know it. So I think that's what this is. I think there could be a breakup on the horizon. I'm sorry for those of you that don't want to hear this. Because you realize that there's a better option for love. So I feel like at the end of this month there's going to be a... Uh, um, a refusal of some sort. You're going to make a judgment call and it's going to be like, no, mm -mm. this isn't it. You aren't the love of my life. I know you aren't because, you know, you're probably getting naked with somebody else. Some, not you, the other person. It could be you. I don't know. Somebody is not being honest and truthful in their they don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they hurt. And I think that you're in the mix. You're you're in the mix of this situation. And I feel like you're going to make that judgment call to end this karmic, karmic contract. The lovers is a contract. Judgment is karma. Karmic contract. So you guys are going to close the door on a karmic contract because I love myself and I want real love. So I feel like, I feel like, the, you know... That's what's happening here for the end of end of uh, January. There could be a split because this is all about one thing and one thing only. And it's like this is on the outside of the situation. This was down here on the once you and it was like this. Once you release, love will come. True love will come. But you have to you have to stop focusing on this bullshit first and wait. So that's what's going on here. That is what's going on here. You have somebody else better and you know it. And that's what I see. Good luck.